Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano on a one up Wednesday. Yeah, check this beauty out, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, if you don't know what this is, hold on. You will after this show. That's right. <laughs> I'm excited to show you this. Uh, this is the one and only of this bugger I have, loosed without the box. Let's take a look at the bottom here. It says up there, Defender, it's a Corgi. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful display here. This is a Defender 110. Just look at the details that we've got going on on this thing. Very, very nice. They do a very good job on this one. Looks like there's a screw there. Must have a tab or something in the back, but you can see the exhaust, control arms, very nice, nice cross members there, some shielding there for the uh, tra uh, transaxle there, oil pan, look at that differential, oh man, that axle, yeah, very, very nice, very, very nice, this is a very nice model. These uh, little uh, mud flaps are rubber. They're just on the back there. Very, very cool, very cool. Got some really nice rims on there with some nice road tires. Look at those, those are very nice. And also, as we see down here, you can see that it has the stationary step sides to it. Awesome, awesome, kind of some uh, front end suspension pieces. Anyway, enough about the bottom. Let's look at the truck here. <laughs> Always looking at the bottom, Dan. Yeah, that's what all the ladies say. Anyway, here we are, the Yorkshire Rider. Now, this is a Corgi Classic number uh, CC07713 Yorkshire Driver, dry, Rider, excuse me. Um, this is the the collector club model. Look at it, even has got the uh, covers over the headlights. I don't think I ever noticed that before. If we can get in focus here and see that, look at that. That is really, really nice. Very nice to detail on the front end there. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. Yes. So this uh, came out in 2004 um, got a light bar on top with a couple of spotlights there uh, individual piece uh, wipers this is as you see a right hooker now mine uh, the uh, side mirrors have been uh, pushed in there and I am not about to uh, adjust those because I don't want them to break off. Yeah, this is not a toy. This is a collector's item. This is from the collector club model. This would come in a pretty big uh, shadow box and uh, green interior background inside the box there and uh, with a window and uh, really, really kind of nice. Boy, they got some really nice details on the tail lights there. You, brake lights, turn lights. Uh, backup light, the chevron there, the green and red, very nice solid rear door there. So this is the 109, like, um, what is that, van, van uh, version, but really nice, a nice cream color there with the uh, Yorkshire Rider uh, stripes. Really, really kind of cool. Really kind of cool. And you know, I really can't remember where I got this from. It is possible that I got this from my friend Pauly over in Ireland, but I'm not for sure, for sure. I'd have to double check. But uh, yeah, just a very nice model. Uh, and, and as far as I know, this is uh, limited to one year, 2004. And uh, just very nice. Now the bottom is... Uh, plastic here I believe yeah that's plastic and like I say these mud flaps are uh, rubber you know the tires are rubber but otherwise it's got a metal body to it 
uh, you know, these these wipers and uh, the head, the lamps up, up above and the side, those are all rubberized. I just can't get over it. I never really realized that it had headlight guards over the headlights. Very nice. And you can see the detailing. The bottom one is uh, orange and the top one is clear. Very, very nice. Could could use a, a badge marking there on the, uh, but they do have that there. But uh, yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. I like this a lot. Um, one of Wednesday, the only one we've got today. Uh, wouldn't mind having it in the box, but hey, this is awesome. It's glad I'm glad to have this example of a collector club model. Now they don't uh, they don't number these. Um, you know, I, on the model themselves, I'm not sure if the boxes are numbered or if they put these out in a limited number, like, you know, one of, you know, 5,760 FOA or anything like that. Um, I'm not really too familiar with the collector, uh, club models. Uh, maybe down below some of you guys that have, uh, a wide variety of collection of these, uh, different, uh, Corgi uh, collector club models could give me an idea. Are these a limited number? Um, we have in our air here in the States, we have green light and auto world and they actually put on here, you know, uh, the number, whether it's a sticker or a printed, um, you know, uh, uh, number series. So you can kind of give an idea how many of these are. I could not find on, in my research, uh, any, uh, thing to tell me that there was, you know, per se, you know, limited to 5,000 or something like that. I, I'm there. They weren't as far as I know, mass produced, but, uh, very, very nice. Um, uh, you know, they're not, they were a special, special run due to the, uh, look at that. It's got a nice, uh, receiver hitch there that, yeah, very nice. The casting itself is very nice. I, I didn't even, I, you know, it's so hard to, um, look up and research Corgi cause they don't have a database, uh, not like BAMCA for, um, uh, matchbox. So I don't know if this, uh, casting and, uh, as far as I know, this is the only casting that I have of this, uh, particular casting from Corgi. Uh, I don't know if they use this casting in different ones. I'm sure they did. Uh, you know, companies can't, even back then, 2004 when this came out, just make a, uh, a whole casting just for one run. So uh, I'm sure that they, you know, uh, have the main casting there and then they just add on the light bars and the, the spotlights and stuff like that and, and then do, uh, do different liveries. But uh, very nicely done. I, I really like this nice cream color. I like that color green with a nice red stripe in it. Very, very nice. I, you know, and I don't know what Yorkshire Rider is. I think that's a, re, uh, isn't that like AAA uh, roadside uh, service? Uh, you know, stuff like that uh, in, in the UK or uh, in Europe somewhere. So very kind of cool. I really like this model. Like I say, I'm really glad that I've got an example of this Defender 110 in my collection. Uh, one of Wednesday. Hey, uh, I just want to ask you guys, hey, if you like what you see, you know, give me a thumbs up and, and more often than not, just uh, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we're getting uh, right up there in subscribers and that is awesome. I've got uh, new things coming out for 2020 and... Uh, so yeah, come on over, subscribe. It won't hurt. It, it, it may even just tickle. Just, just warning you. All right. Uh, come over to Facebook to Roverland channel and check us out there. Facebook Roverland. And, uh, then you can put, uh, your collection of, uh, these Corgi defenders. Uh, do you have a box example? Uh, and then also on Instagram, you can hit me up there at Roverland Channel. And uh, yeah, comment and uh, post over there. Give me a like. All right. 
All right, that's going to do it for a one up Wednesday. Thank you very much for joining your friend Dano. And as always, remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.